Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching us how to fix the TPM 2.0 error that you get on Valorant on Windows 10 and 11 in 20.4. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is um, quite simple. And if you guys check online, you'll see that there are actually quite a few tutorials that require you to mess around with your BIOS or your uh, computer's BIOS settings. And this is something that I don't personally recommend as everyone has a different motherboard and it runs on different uh, versions and BIOS software. So um, messing around with the BIOS may actually mess up your PC, preventing you from getting past the boot sequence. And that's a big no-no. So I'm going to explain what exactly causes the TPM 2.0 error. And this is actually to do with uh, the built-in system for Valorant being the Vanguard anti-cheat. Now the anti-cheat itself is actually very, very buggy. So it it has actually caused a uh, quite a lot of problems in the past with um, launch options or even playing the game normally or um, the anti-cheat like uh, going bonkers where you're unable to um, use your PC. And the reason for this is because um, Vanguard comes with admin zero privileges. And what that means is it actually gives your Valorant game the highest priority of um, everything that's running on your PC. So everything pertaining to background services, um, your games, your applications, and so on, it's going to give everything to Valorant. So it's going to allocate all the resources, hence causing the crashes and the issues. Now the fix for this is quite simple. All you guys have to do is delete the Vanguard folder containing um, the anti-cheat for uh, Valorant. And don't worry because um, it's not actually going to regenerate or generate a new folder for Vanguard because uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, delete the service for Vanguard. So this way it's going to prevent it from reinstalling and you guys should be able to play the game no problem. Now to do this, um, I'm going to switch windows here real quick. I'm going to use um, display capture. Here we are. So um, once you guys delete the Vanguard folder, normally found in the same directory as your um, uh, Valorant game, you guys would want to open the command prompt. And the easiest way to do that is to hit um, the Windows key and R on your, con on your keyboard and type down CMD. Now, once you guys are here, you simply want to type down SC delete VGK. Now, VGK is actually the service name for uh, the Vanguard anti-cheat. So by doing so, we're permanently deleting the service, uh, allowing us to play the game normally with no issues. And uh, w this way, you guys don't have to um, go through BIOS, and it's much safer and reliable. So yeah, that's the video. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, it helps you out. And if it does, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.